leaders in Jackson County are trying to cut down on crime. The No Violence Alliance, otherwise known as NOVA, is being revived in a new way. Working for you, Fox Force Jonathan Katz, live from police headquarters downtown with the new name for the group. John. John, that new name is Stand Against Violence Everybody KC. In short, Save KC. And one of their board members talked to us earlier today. Vince Ortega is the director of Jackson County Combat. A public safety tax voters have approved to try to prevent drug related and violent crime. He says Nova was started about 12 years ago and lasted four to five years. When it first began, he agreed it was very successful. I think in 2014, uh, the annual uh, homicides were at 82, which was the lowest they've been in decades. Ortega was right about that number, but they still increased over the next three years. Kansas City's deadliest year on record was just last year with 182 homicides. Ortega does not know why Nova ended. Regardless, he thinks this new group, Save KC, will be successful over time. I see a lot of communication this time where I didn't see that before in the Nova. Uh, again, combat not being part of the social service piece, uh, now with everybody communicating and, and not only with Kansas City, but in Jackson County, we even have at those meetings the Kansas representatives. So again, a broader picture, more comprehensive, more communication and, and coordinating of resources. Ortega says social services could provide people with rental or food assistance. That's where Jackson County combat's coming into play with Save KC. Community activist Ron Hunt says in the past, county leaders and police have tried to work with violent offenders, offer them alternatives. Hunt says it was a huge success. And some of the violent offenders had child support. They had uh, warrants out on them and they said, hey, we know you are here. So it's the engagement, the interaction, something that we haven't had lately. And that could happen in the future. Save KC does hold public meetings, by the way. Their next one is coming up on the first Friday of May. Lauren, right now we don't have a time and a location for that meeting, though. Jonathan Katz at KCPD headquarters in Kansas City. Thank you.